Hi everyone, uh, Mike Denny, formerly the PC doctor, again, here in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and I'm about ready to go ahead and send my second Bolsey device back to Amazon. This is the unboxing, which has already been unboxed, but I was so disappointed with the results I didn't even rebox it and fake the unboxing for you. But I've got the review ready, uh, the short version. This time, this the disc is still on the laptop because they did burn it correctly. The Bolsey company doesn't finalize their burning sessions for their driver's discs, so they can add more files later or possibly change, delete, and add corrected ones later. Well, the problem with the first one that I had, the uh, driver's disc for the BO N1557, was that it had not been mastered at all. And in fact, it's sh still showing up as a completely blank disc. The second uh, device here, the 1559, uh, the, the drivers did come up, but, and, and I was not forced to use the, uh, or it was very easy to find the, the driver folder to allow Windows to complete the process, which I had to do, because this disk, this uh, device did not, also did not install uh, automatically. It was not plug and play, as uh, the ad says it was. Both devices that I got from Bolsey, uh, both their ads clearly stated on their Amazon ads, anyway, that they were plug and play. As you can see here, the Amazon ad for the 1559 clearly showing plug and play USB 2.0 interface, which is not true. Neither of these devices were plug and play. This review, to make it up for the epic 20 minute review of the 1557, I'm going to make this review short and sweet. And the short part is that I wouldn't buy it. The sweet part is it's a short review. Uh, really the sweet part is uh, You've heard it from me, so you don't have to buy it. Wow, what a what a deal you got! I, I had to waste a lot of time and uh, haggling with my postal carrier to get this shipped to my house, even. But anyway, I recommend nobody buys the Bolsey devices because they're they're falsely advertising on Amazon. Sorry, they're just saying that they're plug and play, and that's bad enough. Secondly, this device is. Um, is not dual band. Now they're not saying that in the description. If you go back and look at the description again that I've shown you earlier in the video, they're not advertising that. It's just that they, when I bought these devices at the time I bought them, which is about 10 days ago, uh, about around January uh, 10th, there were so many re Amazon reviews indicating that they are uh, true dual band devices that I was fooled. And that's the short version of that too. So. It's not dual band, it's not plug and play, otherwise these are okay devices if you want one, if it's uh, fixing a problem you have with your built-in wireless device. If you're not trying to make it better, uh, or if, if better for you does not include uh, 300 megabits per second, uh, that's fine. Uh, the other thing is, this is really false advertising, 11 in 300 megabits per second, this is a commonly used technique to get people to buy something and falsely advertise. That's draft mode is what they're saying because it's not true dual band. These are devices that have hung around and actually were probably manufactured years ago, three or four, maybe even five years ago, which are still being marketed in such new boxes that people are buying and foolish people such as myself uh, thinking that it's not draft mode. Well, it doesn't say it is. It doesn't say draft mode on it. But what it actually is, is it's it's not giving you the rates that you will get. It's just not it's not dual band. It's not going to be. So I wouldn't buy it. I'm going to return it back to Amazon and get my money back. If you have any problems with that, and well, that's why I turn off my comments in my YouTube videos, because I know better than to have bought something without expecting what it was what was advertised. And I read through dozens of reviews, which led me to buy it in the first place. So keep your comments to yourself as you are forced to do. <laughs> Finally, I have one more comment. The condition of the CD envelope inside here leads me to believe that mine was actually refurbished. There was no uh, clear plastic sticker preventing me from opening, no seal. 
Um, so I believe Mark, uh, Amazon is actually repackaging and therefore maybe even refurbishing products and selling them as new or allowing their vendors to do so. This, this is a good example of such. And so uh, this is way too many items coming from Amazon lately. Sorry to go off on a tangent here, but a little bit of a rant on Amazon's quality control lately. You want to have uh, be better than eBay or continue to be have a better rep than eBay? Continue to build on what separated you from them in the first place. Choosing quality vendors with products that are not of poor quality or repackaged without telling customers or just uh, falsely advertised as this one was. This is all three of those. It's poor quality, it's repackaged, and it's uh, misrepresented. So there you go.